G'day guys, it is Jeb here and I am back for another episode of Adventure Ready and today I am talking about antennas. Now we have been researching this topic for the last two months before making this video and I tell you what, trying to find information online about caravan antennas is nearly impossible. But hopefully with the research that we've done throughout this video, we're gonna be able to break it down for you to find the right antenna for your caravan depending on exactly where you're going and what type of van you're in. Okay, so as I said, this is one very challenging topic to research when it comes to caravan antennas. And by no means am I sitting here saying that I'm an expert in the field. We've had to do as much homework as we possibly can on this topic to try and work out, is there really a difference in all of these different brands? So most of the brands, they just keep it so vague on the differences between the antennas. But in our research, what we can find are a couple of main things. Now that comes down to horizontal or vertical polarizing signal waves, okay? So basically what that means is the broadcast tower, where that's shooting the signal out from, or the way the electromagnetic waves out from, that is going to determine whether or not they send the plane of waves out horizontally or whether they send them out vertically. Now, we need to ensure that the antenna, if you're going to be traveling around, can do both, okay? If you're mainly just going to be here in South Australia, which is predominantly horizontal signals here in South Australia, and you're just gonna be traveling around, then it isn't gonna to have too much of a difference whether or not your antenna picks up both horizontal and vertical signal waves. But if you're gonna be traveling around the country and you're gonna be going to different locations, in our, in our opinion, it is best to have an antenna that can capture both horizontal and vertical waves. So coming from them broadcast towers, you're getting your UHF, which is ultra high frequencies, and your VHF, which is very high frequencies, all coming out from them broadcast towers. Now they're either gonna be coming out horizontally or vertically as we discussed, but those frequencies coming out from the broadcast towers are going to contain your FM radio, your AM radio, your digital television, your HD, so your high definition television. They're gonna contain everything with inside of that signal wave that is coming out of that broadcast tower. Now we don't need to worry about analog anymore. So all the broadcast towers no longer send out analog signals out of their broadcast towers. It's quite funny when we're doing the research on this video, we were told by an old antenna company uh, that said, they, they told us that there was a lot of people back in the day when analog changed over from analog and went to digital, there was a lot of people that were actually gypped thinking they needed to purchase a new antenna where in actual fact they didn't. Uh, so it was all to do with the actual television and could that receive it because the antennas were actually designed to still pick up exactly what these broadcast towers were sending out. So a lot of your televisions now will still stay ATV, which is your analog TV, just ignore that. So when you get down to the point of actually tuning in the television, now this is not the antenna, but the television, when you're tuning in that television, it is going to still say ATV and DTV, okay? Just ignore the ATV, save yourself some time, and just go straight to DTV. Now, depending on where you are, you may pick up some radio through your television as well. Now, please don't confuse this for the radio that is inside of your caravan, okay? So the radio inside of your caravan, in the back of that antenna point, you will have its own radio antenna. Again, it works very similar, okay? But it is not to be mistaken by the antenna here on the caravan, we're just talking TV antennas, so television antennas for your caravan. Okay, so here I am inside of one of our caravans here at Adelaide RV on display, and I've just wound up a type of wine guard antenna. This one is the original Sensor 3. So I've been in this industry for over 15 years now, and this one's been around as long as I can remember inside of the caravan industry. However, there is one important thing to remember with this particular antenna, it is only going to pick up the horizontally polarized waves. It is not going to pick up the vertical waves. Now you may say, Jeb, it is crazy. Why on earth do we have different broadcast towers throwing out horizontal and then the next broadcast tower is throwing out vertical. Now that is a great question and the information that I've been able to find is so we in Australia can have greater coverage, greater broadcasting, greater television coverage 
all the way across this great nation. When you look at some other countries, that will run just one particular type. So they may just run vertical or they may just run horizontal. So now onto this particular Sensor 3, which is the original, the OG in the caravan industry. This one is only horizontal, so horizontal waves only. Now, another thing to mention as well, which is probably one of the more important things um, that I've been able to identify is what exactly do you want on the roof of your caravan? Now, if you're just going stock standard, maybe one solar panel, two solar panels, a couple of roof hatches, doesn't really matter on used up roof space. But if you are looking for dust reduction systems, multiple hatches on the roof, uh, multiple solar panels on the roof, then real estate up on top of the roof of your caravan is gonna become so, so valuable. Because a wine guard antenna, whether it be the HV one that I'm about to show you next or the original Sensor 3, they take up about 1.2 meters on the roof of your caravan, okay? So that is something to keep in mind as well. But let's go into the fine tuning of this. So as you see, I've just wound it up. We have on here, our up and down arrow, so that will tell you exactly what way that you need to wind the handle. Now from here, you would go over to your television and you would tune in your television. But then when it comes down to fine tuning, okay, we may need to fine tune it. Let's say there's a little bit of disruption. What we can do with the wind guard product is simply pull down slightly on this housing and we just rotate that around. Okay, so it won't go 360 degrees, but it will basically go back on itself. So what's that, 180 degrees back? And then you can go, the same way all the way back around the other side as well. Now, again, depending on what way the tower is shooting out from, depending on the location of the tower, you're gonna to get a more precise um, location. We know the antenna has risen, okay? So the antenna is up, meaning it's going to have the least amount of disruption as the VHF and UHF signals are coming through, okay? Um, so we're gonna be able to pick them up, but as we bring this back around, we need to also mention that before you wind this down with this particular product, it is vitally important that you have these two arrows together. So they need to be basically in line. Otherwise, as I wind the crank handle down and the shaft lowers, if it's not in the correct position, it won't lay back in the spot it's designed to. It may, may wanna go forward or it may go sideways depending on whatever way the arrow is facing. So just a little hot tip there. Before you start winding back down, make sure that your arrows are back together um, and then we can simply start winding down. Okay, so here we are inside of one of our Supreme Territory caravans, and this particular range comes standard with Wineguard's top of the range free vision HV antenna. Uh, again, this one's been around a while now, um, but you'll see the shape of it. It has a funny natured shape. Now, the idea behind that is this one will pick up both your horizontal and your vertical waves as it's shooting out from that broadcast tower. So it does not matter where you travel and what broadcast tower is shooting out what particular signal waves, you will pick up either or. Um, so there's no matter um, exactly where you're going or what you're doing, you're not gonna be restricted in that sense because this particular antenna will pick up both. So I guess what we would say is that this is a premium antenna from the wine guard range as opposed to the one I've just shown you, which is only bringing out horizontal uh, frequencies. Now, Australia is around about 50-50 between horizontal and vertical, but again, if you can cover both, um, then obviously that's gonna be the safest bet in what we've been able to find. Now, quick little disclaimer. If you already have the uh, Sensor 3 that we've just shown you, there is an available attachment that Wineguard have produced, which is called the Wingman, okay? Now, the Wingman is a great little attachment. They're exceptionally cheap here. We'll put a photo here below of the Wingman, and that one there can increase the UHF frequencies that are coming out and increase what exactly can be brought into that antenna. So if you are struggling with the Sensor 3, potentially try it before you go and change over the head to pick up both the vertical and horizontal frequencies, potentially try a cheaper alternative, which is the little wingman. But now, back over to this particular one. So we're just going to wind this one up and you'll see the biggest differences as we go up here. Um, some people say it's shaped like a little clove leaf, but you know, it's a funny little shaped thing 
uh, but same deal, it's taking up the same amount of real estate on the roof, as I mentioned with the previous range. If you're looking at putting a heap of solar on and a heap of you know additional bits and pieces on the roof, just be wary that the wine guard antenna is going to take up quite a bit of space. But again, they've been around for donkeys and they are absolutely brilliant. This is a particular unit that I have personally inside of my leader expedition and I have not had an ounce of trouble. As I said earlier, I'm not standing here to claim to be any sort of expert. From what I can see, they're all much for muchness. It's just gonna come down to a few little minor differences that hopefully we're pointing out through this video. So again, exact same shape, exact same housing, exact same handle. We're just gonna twist that and rotate that around as we fine tune it, again, making sure that we line those two arrows up. Alrighty, so as I said, this particular one is standard inside of our Supreme Territory, Supreme Executive, also our leader expedition, okay? It is um, standard inside of those ranges. If you are inside of one of our classic ranges, you may find that you'll have either the Vantana or you may have the Series 3, depending on when you purchased your van. Okay, so now I'm in one of our Goldies, okay? So this is a Goldstream RV. We love the gold streams built down in Pakenham and they have just brought out a new release antenna which is called a WinSig. Now the WinSig antenna is Australian designed and Australian made. Now it looks a little bit different here in the handle but the principle is much the same. It has less roof space uh, where this one is only uh, 890 mil or 89 centimeters, so it's in under a meter. It's not going to take up as much real estate on top of the roof of your caravan, and that's one of the reasons that Goldstream have gone this way, as the Goldies are a little bit smaller. This one we're in at the moment is 17 and a half feet, uh, with one of the most popular ranges being their little 1500s, uh, as well as their 1760 and their 1800s. So they're not, they don't have a huge big roof spaces, they're not a huge big long caravan. So to get the solar on the roof, to get the hatches on the roof, we wanted to try and find a product that was obviously a uh, smaller footprint uh, when we did fit it. But internally, it looks very, very similar. Now this antenna can receive both horizontal waves and it can pick up vertical waves. Again, just like the FreeVision HV, we don't need to worry about the destination that we're going to because we know regardless what the tower is throwing out, the wind sig is going to be able to pick that up. Now, when we wind it up, they do say that it is omnidirectional, meaning that to fine tune it, you don't need to pull it down and rotate it all the way around. It does have a slight rotation in the head of it, but it doesn't go the entire way around like the wine guard antenna does because it can pick it up no matter what direction uh, it is throwing that signal in from. Please disclaim, we do not offer this on the Supreme and Leader range here at Adelaide RV. This is exclusive to Goldstream RV. So let's demonstrate this one right now. So there we go, that's it, we're up. As you can see, it doesn't go up as high, meaning it's not gonna take up as much real estate. Omnidirectional, meaning it's going to pick it up no matter what direction it's coming from. So height isn't as big of an issue. It does have a little bit of rotation, okay? So as you can see, it does rotate slightly um, and important to make sure before you wind it back down, it's just like a hexagonal shape here. So just making sure that the hexagonal shape is all lined back up before you wind it back down. Alrighty, and last of all, of the four antennas that we are running through today here at Adelaide RV, we have the Vantenna. Now this has come out, it's hit the market in the last 12 months and has been released inside of our product, Supreme and Leader Caravans only here. So we do not offer this inside of the Goldstream range as of yet, but Supreme and Leader Caravans, you can have the Vantenna. Now I'm standing here in the same position as the last three and there is nothing to do, there is nothing to wind up. There is no housing here or crank handle on the roof and that is because the Vantenna antenna is fixed. It is a fixed unit. It does not move up and down. Like the last two, no matter where you are in the country, whether the town is shooting out horizontal or shooting out vertical, you're going to be fine. 302 millimeters high, 302 millimeters wide. Now you may, may say, yeah, that looks like a big unit up on top of the roof. It's no higher than your air conditioner, guys. So all of your roof mount air cons sit anywhere from like 240 mil up to 310 mil in overall height. So chances are your air conditioner is still going to be the highest point on your caravan. So again, omnidirectional, do not need to move it. Fill your roof full of solar, 
put the additional roof hatches in, put the additional dust reduction system in because we have such a small area being just 300 by 300 that we are taking up here on top of this. So again, latest technology that is out. It is called the Vantana, it's by Cowfish. Jump online, have a look at it. Uh, as I mentioned, WineGuard has been around forever, but this just seems to be simple. Um, so as I mentioned, looking forward to testing this one out, but I, here I am, I haven't got anything to wind up. I haven't got anything to wind down. I don't need to remember it. I don't need to take off from the caravan park and accidentally work out the 50 kilometers down the road. My antenna is still sticking up off the roof of my caravan. Just simply turn the television on, screw it in here at the antenna point on this and begin tuning the television in to your DTV. And that is all that you need to do. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. In closing, there is not a whole heap of difference when it comes down to caravan TV antennas uh, for your new van or your existing van. We tried to do some homework for you. The most important factors that we could come up with was the roof space that the antenna took up and also our horizontal and vertical polarizing waves coming out from our broadcasting towers and whether or not your antenna was designed to pick that up. Some of them have filters in them to block out 3G, 4G, 5G, give a clearer picture, not a whole heap of difference. Okay, so again, I've said that I have the HV in my caravan and that has done me just fine. I didn't have an issue on a five week trip that I just come back with. I picked signal up absolutely everywhere. Guys, I hope that this video has helped you out, helped you understand the differences between the models um, and made it a little bit easier when it comes down to choosing the television antenna that is right for you. Okay team, we are not here saying that we are experts. We're just a company that is committed to providing you with some helpful tips and tricks and insights to make your caravanning journey easier. Again, I love hearing from absolutely everybody and gaining knowledge from wherever I can. So if you've got any feedback on the video that you've just watched, any additional information, please feel free to pop it in the comments below and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you are keeping up to date anytime we get you adventure ready by releasing another one of these helpful little videos. Guys, we're also releasing fortnightly newsletters now, which will give you more information and more tips and tricks when it comes to all things caravanning and camping, whether it's from product releases like we've just spoken about, or whether it's destinations and how-tos inside of your caravan. So make sure you click the link below, subscribe to our newsletter, jump across to adelaiderv.com.au, and all this information will be in the info hub on our website as well. I really hope this has helped.